Hi, this is Matt from Gadzilla.org, and uh, today I just want to do the final write-up and discussion of the HTC Diamond. Uh, check Gadzilla.org for, I've got a couple different video uh, kind of reviews of the interface, the TouchFlow 3D and the device, and of course an unboxing. Uh, and later today or tomorrow morning I'll post a final review with the specs. And this is kind of the recap of, of, all, of all the video reviews and me using the device for the last couple of days. Uh, the diamond is really cool um, from a style perspective. Um, it's probably the fastest uh, Windows Mobile 6.1 device from a CPU megahertz side, what, 528 hertz um, from that perspective, but it runs really dog slow. I um, have to wonder, it looks like HTC, I think today or last night, they stopped shipment of the diamond. Um, so possibly maybe a new firmware is being loaded or they found some... Uh, issues, hopefully not, on the engineering and device side. Hopefully it's all just firmware related uh, and they can push that firmware out to people that already bought the device because uh, the device is being sold at some locations. So you've seen the device and you'll see it again here. Um, you know, like I said, the device styling wise is just awesome. But, you know, it has some really unremarkable <laughs> Uh, performance and kind of shortcomings that, in my opinion, is really kind of, there should be no excuse for that these days, especially from HTC and especially from all the hype that they had with this device. Uh, a couple things, you know, a couple things to note here uh, that are bad. Uh, we're not talking software, just hardware-wise. You know, this isn't going to be a slam the diamond uh, review. I do like the device. It's actually really cool. Um, and once they get the firmware fixed and the performance fixed for it, I think it'll be a smoking device. It'll be one that iPhone really has some, the 3G iPhone will really have some good competition against. Um, but a couple of gripes, at least from my opinion, is the, uh, is the D-pad here. The D-pad uh, doesn't have any kind of scroll mechanism. There's just a four-way rocker. It's right on the screen, uh, right inside there. But the middle button is kind of depressed. So it's, it's a little odd navigating it. Um, to be honest, it, took me a couple of minutes to figure out where was the four-way rocker. Until you closely look at the screen, you, you will see arrows up and down. Um, another thing to note on the back is a uh, very, very good 3.2 uh, autofocus camera, but no flash. Kind of inexcusable these days. Uh, every 3 megapixel camera phone out there has some type of strobe on it. I just find it hard to believe they couldn't do that. Um, on the lighter things, the, the phone has 4 gig of internal storage. That's awesome. Um, it has USB 2.0, so file transfers are nice and fast. Uh, 3G right now on a 900 and 2100 band. Um, but the phone does list 1900, or sorry, 850 and 1900 UMTS, uh, but I was not able to get AT&T 3G signal here in the U.S. Um, I understand there is some hacks to get get around that. The device does, at least from what I understand, the device does have the uh, 850-1900 band in it already. It's just not enabled, but I could be wrong. But that's what I heard out there. Um, you've seen the you've seen the interface many times over, uh, but I'll show it to you just one last time. Really, my my opinion on the TouchFlow 3D launcher, it's Really cool looking, but to be perfectly honest, it really doesn't bring anything new to the table. Um, it's just another, it's just another launcher that still takes a long time to get to some of your apps. Um, you know, I really don't believe it's any faster than any other home screen launcher. It's just this is probably the prettiest one out there. Um, HTC really has to work with Microsoft to really kind of develop a better, a better UI. Um, or we just had to wait for Windows Mobile 7. Um, it's too bad because there was a lot of hype, for me at least, for this device. And I really enjoyed reviewing it, but at the same time, I'm really kind of disappointed in the performance of it. Uh, it doesn't seem to be stopping people from purchasing it because it is a really great device. You just have to kind of understand its quirks right now. And it's a Rev-8 device. It's very first of its kind. So HTC is usually pretty good at fixing what problems that are out there. And hopefully they provide a lot of support for, for this guy because this really is a winner for HTC if they can get the performance fixed. Um, you know, maybe they rushed out of the gate because of Monday's announcement for Apple for the 3G phone. 
Um, but you know, they might be the first kid on a block, and hopefully they could correct the issues. And uh, you know, it should sell like hotcakes. But check Gadzilla.org for uh, the formal write-up of the device. It'll have the specs. Uh, I posted a bunch of pictures and a couple different video walkthroughs, so you can take a look at that. This is the HTC Diamond, and this is Gadzilla.org.